My name is Comrade Abubakar Dauda, local and independent observer that came in from Kano, as you can see. So what I've observed so far of the election in Zamfara Local Government Council election is almost right from this hour of 0.10 a.m., almost being compared to that of Kano, which went peacefully, which went peacefully, despite no state security, no police, no civil defense, nothing. The state, state security agencies and state organizations State organization that has to do with security, example, Zarota, they were there to give security, and the election went peacefully. And that is the sign I'm almost seeing in Zamfara today. The election is almost going to become peacefully because the election has already been going on now, and there is a peaceful atmosphere. Voters are conducting themselves well, electorates are coming, voting, going. No disturbance, no hindrance. So the commendations goes to Zasik because Zasik has been working fervently for the past five days I have been here. They have been working fervently share, share from distributing sensitive, sensitive election materials about four days ago up to this morning when election is commencing into local government council of Zamfara State. The whole and the soul, the whole and the soul the sole credit should go to His Excellency, the Executive. The sole and the whole credit should go to His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Zamfara State, Dr. Dauda Alawal Dere, who availed Zasik with a conducive environment to conduct a free, fair, and credible local government election. The turnout is credible because I've went around the whole town today from my from my location. That is from my accommodation. I went around the whole town to see the level of compliance with restriction on movement due to election. There was a type of 99% level of compliance. There is a type, almost all the private vehicles on the street are having an indication of election duty vehicle election, which shows the, the citizens. The citizens has complied with the directive of no restriction on movement due to the election. The whole credit goes to His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Zamfara State. Do you think uh, residents are now believing in uh, the election and the uh, local government that the local government that they are doing? Yes. The residents are now believing, particularly the residents of Zamfara State, they are now believing in the government, government, they are now believing in the administration of Dr. Dauda Lawal Dere to provide a level playing ground for all the political parties, which we are seeing today. People were coming. There was, a, there was somebody who I saw, whom I saw, 
coming here to vote, we are in a type of identification of a political, particular the political leader of an opposition party and came in here to vote. That means supporters of other political parties also believe in the arrangement of the government of, Varaz, of Zamfara State under Zasik to conduct a free and fair credible election today. What I have observed fundamentally is change of attitude. In the past, whenever there was an election, you see political folks moving from here and there, disrupting election process, and so on and so forth. But this time around, people have understood the principle of Governor Dauda Lawal, who has always asked the citizens to be law-abiding and to be up and doing in exercising their civic responsibility of electing uh, leaders that will lead the local government areas across the state. So fundamentally, I can see a change of attitude. I can also see how the election materials have been provided much earlier than the time. So we say uh, a, a very good gesture, courtesy of His Excellency Governor Dawda Lawal. And that is the essence of electing an educated leader. We didn't see this in the past. People know his principle and gradually people are now changing for the better. Well, I think it, 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 people who have this opinion actually are either wrong or they are not connected to media houses. You don't expect to get information when you go in your bedroom and you don't care to read newspapers, you don't care to read radio. There have been a lot of enlightenment and public enlightenment uh, because of the election. So I think uh, some people, some cross-section of the people that are, they do not mean well to the government, they may you know, separate this kind of uh, uh, rumors or whatever. Well, like I said, when a leader is educated and he's up and doing, all other people of the state will follow his attitude. I think he will follow his attitude based on his sincerity. When he says this is what he will do, people know that he will definitely do it. When he says he will come in by 10 o'clock, definitely you will see him by 10 o'clock. So it is a principle that he has already internalized in him. And it is affecting people working with him and then the people of the state generally. Thank you very much. Many years I've been coming to Versailles to observe election. And uh, from a, a, a platform of peace, I always work to work where peace will strive. We're here to observe the local government election that is ongoing now. And since four days we have been here in the states, and in our culture and norms of observing election, we were in a state who first pay constituency to commissioner of police, state director, SSS, and other security agencies to ascertain what is on ground and how the ground is safe for the election. This we have done in the past days. We have visited the state independent electoral commission, we have met with the chairman, and we have seen how they are doing their work, celebrating the trying to get sure that uh, all the materials are distributed to their field. So I want to say that the local, uh, local government election that is ongoing today in Zamfara State is a one that is designed to promote democracy. And it's in accordance with the uh, Supreme Court ruling that every state, local, uh, state uh, government should coordinate local government election in order to allow them to the, get the autonomy. So, what we observe is that one, there is security. Two, is that the uh, State Independent Electoral Commission is working. And the other things we have to do is after our election, observation, that we can now say, okay, this is how we have observed it. And that's the reason why we are going to put a press conference to round it up at the end of the election. Let's keep
Well, so far, so good. What I've seen when I came in, everything was orderly and it's still very orderly. I've casted my vote. My wife also has casted her vote. So we're good to go. Are you satisfied? Honestly, with the number of people I've seen, I'm quite okay. I'm very, very satisfied. Well, so far I haven't had anything, but uh, what I was informed, everything is going fine. And I hope it will finish or end up very well as it started. Well, this is election and it's free for every political party. Those who participated are here. Those that didn't participate, I mean, that is their own choice. Well, uh, you know, I'm always an advocate of very peaceful election and I also appeal to everyone to be peaceful so that this process will go smooth. Well, you know, uh, it's about people, it's about development, and development starts from the local government to the states. And I believe this is a democratic process and it will bring about development to cater for the people. I feel we have done our part and we hope for the best. They should be patient. Zamfara will be on top, inshallah, with the leadership of His Excellency.